Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Bonus video. Um, we're getting some new uh, cards flowing in here. Um, uh, the first one for today, we're going to go over the ones I missed from last week, but first we'll go over the one that was just revealed. Uh, you can check out a full review of the card on uh, Team Creve, T Team and then C R E V E dot com. They got a really good website, and um, that's where they did their reveal. So, um, Check that out. It, it it they do a really good job over there. So um, give them a quick look there. Um, but first, watch my video. <laughs> um, but the uh, first uh, syndicate card that we're going over is the one that just got revealed. It's uh, Octavia Hale. So I guess this is the Witchfinder. So basically, she started out as this like. I don't know. I guess I guess she just evolved into the witch finder eventually. Just got enough people to believe what she had to say and these are her two kids, um the uh, Fabian and uh Ignatius and then they their alter egos are the scoundrel and the brute. Um we already have the scoundrel, we'll go over the brute in a minute, but uh this card seems pretty good if these cards are good. I, I think we'll have to wait and see what the other... Is this all the Syndicate cards? One, two, three. No, there should be one more, right? Um, later on today. So that'll be in tomorrow's video. Um, but uh, So she's 7 for 7. So she's already playing for her provisions. Deploy. Draw up to two of Octavia's sons to your hand then shuffle back the same number of cards so you could draw currently the brute the scoundrel ignatius hale and fabian hale so these are your witch finder cards these are are they hunters they are witch hunters huh so tomorrow with some carryover might be a thing i don't know this do you want two seven provision cards plus two you still got a fish well how much is the brute the brute's 13. i don't know if you could fit witch finder scoundrel and the brute along with fabian ignatius it seems like a lot man i don't know i'll give it a go for sure but i, I just the idea of thinning or getting bad cards out of your hand for gold cards and having two finishers seems pretty good um it's kind of like a, a what's that the card for scoyatel call the forest with a body i mean that seems pretty good i mean i i don't know i th i think the thing is is you can't just pull any card it's you got to pull these suns, so I don't know. I think the card's going to be pretty good. Um, I think it's all going to depend too if line pockets doesn't get uh, nerfed pretty bad. I think drill's going to get hit. I think drill's going to get hit pretty hard. I could see how much is drill's what seven p right? I could see drill going to ten. <laughs> 10 or it gets uh, two charges every turn or something because it's just it's too much I, I I love playing it don't get me wrong I love doing damage damage is my business and if you have this business is good but it's just too much man it's just way too much so they'll uh you'll you'll be going with freak show and horsing and stuff but it's like you got to fit all these yeah you have these damage or these bounty hunter cards but it's like where do you get your damage from you know i don't know we'll see uh let's go over these other ones i haven't really got to look at them too much let's check out this brute first um this is crazy looking art man this dude's a nut like what's going on here he's got a dog with oh that's right he does have the dogs with them in the picture so they're like jekyll and hides they have their 
normal persona and then these evil personas, I guess. Um, so he's a 6 for 13. Wow. Profit 0. Deploy boost self by 0. Boost is equal to the base power of the last destroyed unit with a bounty. So if you hit this with a Melusine, holy cow, you were winning the game. Whenever you place a bounty on an enemy unit, increase this unit's profit by one. Wow. So, I mean, this is going to pair up real nice with, um, what's his name? I'm so bad with these cards. I can never be a caster. Graydon. Um, you get a good Graydon on something with some good base strength and, uh, It's so expensive, though. It's a finisher, but... Man, is it expensive. You, I, But I mean, like, if, if, if the way the current deck plays... Like, how do you fit, like, all this shit in your deck? Like, how do you fit Cleaver, Scoundrel... Uh, I guess you maybe just play three of these? Yeah, I mean, like, Cle like how do you fit all this stuff in your deck? You can't. Yeah, you physically can't. You have to play bounty hunters. You have to. The witch witch hunters or whatever or executioners, yeah. That's just man. Look I mean thirteen provisions. Twelve provisions. Ten provisions. Like Man, I don't. I want to play this deck so bad, but I just I don't see how you fit everything in you need to make it work. Furco. I mean, it's got some nice thinning. You're gonna have to play Freak Show. Kurt, Kurt's gonna be nice. I don't think you play this Ignatius. This one just seems bad. I'm wondering though if, like, because you're drawing cards and putting cards back, I wonder if you play Snowdrop in this list and Sunset Wanderer. Maybe you don't go Devotion. Are any of these cards Devotion? I don't think they are. Yeah, none of them are Devotion. The only one that really has Devotion is, uh, Freak show. So maybe you eliminate Horson. I don't know. It seems this it, it, it seems like if it pops off you it, you don't have the if you have the damage dealers, I think you're gonna be in good shape. Um let's check out this other one. I think it's purge. Um Did we go over this card? I th don't think we did. Maybe we did. I don't know. Um, they tease this art in uh, open uh, purge crime. Five provisions. Damage an enemy unit by three. Increase the damage by one for every witch finder on your side of the battlefield. Um, death blow. Place a bounty on the highest power enemy unit. I think this card's good, man. I, I think we went over this card. Um, maybe. I don't know. I. <laughs> If, if we did, I'm sorry, but I still think this card's good. Um, it's a better dip for bounty, uh, the bounty deck. Like, dip's already a good card. Like, doing damage and possibly killing something to get more coins, I think it's a better dip. I think you play this with this list that you build with the um, bounty. Yeah, I think it's a better dip. Granted, you don't get the coins unless you get the bounty, but... I think I think it's a better dip, to be honest. I mean, we'll see. We'll see, but... Um, really cool card. I like it a lot. And then, uh, we didn't go over uh, Lydia. I know that for sure. Um, Lydia Van... Because I would have remembered saying this name because I would have butchered it. Lydia. <laughs> Five for nine. This card seems really good, especially with the 
like assimilate thing they got going on. So it's deploy melee, create and play a bronze special card from your opponent's faction. So you can play it front row and high roll, or you can go deploy range, play a bronze special card from your opponent's graveyard, and get something for sure. Um, I think it's nuts. It, it would be crazy if she had assimilate too. I love that this was a art submission from the art uh, uh, contest they had like two or three years ago. That's crazy. Yeah, I love that, that uh, they're using some of this stuff. Uh, I know All God was one too. Um, but congrats to this dude for getting some card art in the best card art game there is. I mean, that's got to feel really good. But uh, this, this I think, this card's auto-include in... Uh, I think it's pretty much auto-include in every deck. Nine's kind of awkward, but I think it's worth it. I mean, it's a... It could be a better... Vigo, right? Vigo's 10. I believe. Maybe he's 8. He's 8. Yeah. Artorius Vigo? I don't know. I think it's really good. I think this card's going to tear it up. I think Nilfgaard's going to be annoying as hell. And you're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> you're going to have to deal with it. Um, but uh, that's the video for today, guys. Um... You know, uh, I'll have another reveal video up tomorrow for the other Syndicate uh, card and whatever gets revealed by, I believe, what do we got this week coming up? Uh, server news. Weekly updates. Uh, Skellige. Okay, so Skellige always has some good cards. Their art for this expansion has been insane. Insane. The Melusine, the... Um, the ocean card that um, hits everything on the board. Primo. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.